What's up, kinks? It is nappy food all up on your screen. And today, I'm coming at y'all with a that nap life video. Decided to go ahead and do a comparison video. Yes. I want to compare my tried and true red kiss with the comb attachment to that one dry eye. That when it came out, everybody, mommy, daddy, cousin was ranting and raving about. But I haven't even taken it out the package. Cause that's how new new it is, okay? I wanna compare the time. How long would the red lawn versus the red take to dry my 4C hair? And how much heffot, heffot will be required to accomplish it? Well, let's see. Nappy food checking in. Let go. Welcome back to Nappy Food TV, y'all. You know, if you're on my Snapchat, I know you really surprised that your girl went and got this. I know. This is the thing. I felt like, one, what's the difference between this and this? I use paddle brush on, on contour very carefully. I don't, I don't, I don't occur any extra damage that doesn't already naturally happen, okay? So I figured to myself, well, not pitiful. I mean, they are both very similar. The similarity is clear. So, why not give it a try? I mean, you know you're gonna do it very safely. I'm not no fool. I'm not gonna be ripping through my hair. Your girl has sense, you feel me? Yes, I had to gain that common sense real quick because the sound or and the feel that you get when you go through your hair too quick with the comb or a brush is not pleasant, okay? All right, y'all, let's go ahead and dive in. I wanna compare the obvious features first, starting with the controls. With my Red Kiss, I have the control of choosing hot, cool or warm and as far as the pressure go I can choose high or medium or low with the Revlon it looks like it's all intertwined together and you can only choose between high pressure high temperature low pressure low temperature cool pressure cool temperature I guess all right something else I noticed about it is that the bristles on the red kiss pro I'm sorry on the Revlon is very it looks like it's stiff but it's actually it actually presses in pretty well so there is some flexibility to it which is really good something else I'm noticing is behind the bristles you see this red let's call it a thermal plate and um, it's really close to the edge of it so I kind of feel like based on the videos I've seen that thermal plate right there might be what's contributing to that extra um, abnormally straight from a blow dryer effect that a lot of naturals have received and also the fact that it's bristle brushes so that makes sense again so that thermal plates I feel like it might play a role more than we more than we know all right so there's definitely more details I can give you about each dryer but let's not make this too long let's get into the comparison now I'm going to start off with already prepped hair this is my wash day, so my hair is already moisturized. I'm just gonna lock it all in. And for more details on the steps that I take to blow dry my hair, just check out my previous blow dry videos. And don't worry, I will have an updated one coming soon. I'm gonna start off with my tried and true, the red, the red by Kiss Pro, $20, $25. Timer is up, let's get this started. Oh yeah, this dryer does come with four different attachments, but I found myself mainly using two of them, the, the comb attachment and the blow and the um, concentrator. All right, as you can see, I kind of have a good handle on this dryer, on how I use it. A lot of times when I first started, a lot of the times that attachment would consistently fall off. But now I have a kind of good control on how to hold it. And I'm just going through it because, you know, I know this dryer. This dryer knows me. We cool, you know what I'm saying? And what I normally would do is start off with a medium heat to high pressure. That's what I normally would start. Because again, remember, this dryer gives me the control between pressure and heat or pressure and temperature. So I started with medium temperature, high pressure, and then when I'm done with each section, I will go over it, go over it with high pressure again, but cool temperature. So that's what I tend to do with all of my sections whenever I'm using this blow dryer. That's just the best way for me to do my thing with this dryer, my tried and true. I'm just saying, the candle is pretty up there. It's lit pretty bright. So Revlon, I mean, I'm just saying, we're gonna see what you got, what you gonna do, but uh, yeah. You know what I've come to learn, especially now that I've educated myself a lot more about blow drying. If you have issues with stretching your hair, if you have low porosity, this could be of benefit for you. Green Beauty Channel just recently re released an entire hair science-based series about blow drying our natural hair. So make sure you check it out, y'all. There will be some points that she will make that you'll be like, what? 
I just never thought of it like that. I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, I am astonished. Like you'll find yourself saying that a lot of the points she made is stuff that I've actually studied. So I'm just like, dang, okay, so yeah, it's really true. Blow drying could be very successful for um, naturals, but it can be harmful if it's not done safely and correctly. So, you know, to each is your own. But blow drying is definitely not as bad as flat ironing hair. I'm not saying flat ironing your hair is bad, but you hear more people getting heat damage from flat ironing than you would from blow drying. So that's why I'm still not open to flat ironing, but I am more open to blow drying my hair more than my one time a year. All right, and I am done, y'all, at 14 minutes and 12 seconds. All right, so there you have it. That is the red pro side. It took me approximately almost 15 minutes to do this side. So... It did pretty well. Now let's try the hyped up blow dryer. Let's see if it's overly hyped or it's just about right. All right, Revlon, you are up. Retail price 20 to $40. Timer is up, Lego. I can tell you right now, the bristles are already making me feel like, okay, this is a little different. <laughs> it's a little different. You see these faces? You're gonna see him make some faces, y'all, because this dryer, it was shocking me. It was shocking me from the very beginning because I'm only, at 44 seconds and I'm already like, I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Which one? Which one? Wait, wait, let me just wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, let me finish. Let me complete before I start. <laughs> before I before mm. Yeah, it had me shocked. It had me shocked. I ain't gonna lie, cause I was like, "Wow, really? I'm done? Just like, like, like that, like that? It's been finished. Then, 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 then finished. Anyway, the way that I know a section is um, dry is that I will go through it with my brush, and if it doesn't bounce back like this, then I know it's dry enough. But if it bounces back like this, that means it is still damp, and I have to keep on going. I don't know if anybody else has that little rule. But that's how I decipher whether or not I need to continue on that. Now, I stopped right here because I noticed the dryer was getting hot. Hotter than what the temperature I had. I had it on low. No, I had it on medium. And it was giving me high heat, high pressure. That's not what I had it on. So I moved it down to low. And then when I thought the low was okay, I moved it back to medium. But the temperature up and down had me a little scared, okay? I was like, Revlon don't try me okay but so far so good so that section right there when our sections do get a little drier than what i want it to be i do re re um re-wet it i re-damp it with my spritz and i keep it moving so i have to say this dryer had me in shock the whole time because i'm just like wow i'm going through this section quicker than what i thought quicker than what i thought though it feels like i'm going through the sections really quick you know, but overall, um, yeah, it gave me some, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it, it had me shocked. I, I keep on saying the word shock because I don't know what else to say, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, and we're done, y'all, at 12 minutes and 13 seconds. All right, everything is said and done. Time to get to the overall results, the good, the bad, and the hogly. All right, now let's talk about which one was faster. Well, the Red Kiss did it in 14 minutes and 12 seconds. The Red Kiss Pro comes in at 12 minutes and 13 seconds, so it is the winner by like two to three minutes. That might not be much, but for some people, that might go a long way. Which one gave me the most amount of stretch? Well, I'm gonna have to give that to the Revlon One Step. That looks damn near flat iron. I mean, I know it's not flat iron, but it looks like it. That's how much stretch straightness it gave me. The Red Kiss Pros just gives you that typical blown out natural hair look. But you see my ends are still a little a little kinked up, a little um, shrink, a little shrunken, which I'm personally okay with. But the Revlon has me like, wait, so my ends should probably look like this instead? Like a little bit more straighter? I'm just saying. But overall, I'm okay with it. The Red, I mean, the Red Kiss gives me what I'm used to. The Revlon gave me what I'm not used to, which I'm definitely not hating it. But I do have to say, my Red Kiss Pro has a little bit more volume to it than the Revlon side. I don't know if you can see that through the camera. I also want to say that my Red Kiss side, it already started to shrink up, you know, because I've been, my, I've, I recorded this video and it took me hours or so. My hair was left like this for at least an hour. It wasn't like put in a style or anything like that. 
um, probably even longer than an hour. And my red, my Revlon side stayed straight. It held that stretch to it. But the red kiss side, it did start to shrink. You can see it in my ends. It started to shrink up. How much hair was lost during the process? Well, this is from the Revlon side. And this is from the red kiss side. Um, as you can tell, I lost a little bit less from the red kiss side than I did from the Revlon side. Let's talk about this temperature control, y'all. My Red Kiss Pro wins it, hands down. I can control the pressure. I can control the temperature. If I have it on cool and high pressure, that's what it gives me. As opposed to this Revlon Pro, if I had it on low, it felt like it was giving me medium. If I had it on medium, it felt like it was giving me high. I cannot control the amount of temperature. I cannot control the pressure of the pressure. I don't like it. I don't like it. That makes me nervous, especially when I have it on medium. I clearly have the dial to medium, but yet you feeling hot and high. I don't understand it. Nope, nope, nope. I don't understand it. Neither do I like it. At times I had to turn it off because I just felt like, what is there, is there a fuse being busted? Like what's going on? Why does this heat so hot? on contour she's not used to it so for that reason i definitely give give the um, temperature control pressure control all of that all the way over to red kiss pro it takes it by landslide so will i be you will i ditch my red and go to the rev red rev red all day if anything it's because i can control the speed and the temperature at which this dries my hair. Is this overly hyped? Um, I'm gonna say a little bit yes, but I can understand why because of how stretch, okay? Straight stretch, it got my hair. Like, I understand why people went crazy about it. Like, what, this how straight you can do? Oh my gosh, I get it, I do. I have not seen a dryer that gets your hair as straight stretched as this one did. I've never seen one that did that. So if that's something that you're looking for, this can do it, okay? And now we have come to today's Snapchat question. Have you tried this dryer? I wanna know what are your pros, what are your cons? If you have not tried it and you refuse to try it, let us know in the comment box below. Trust me, your answer will definitely help another kink out, okay? Thank you in advance. I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that i am all up on your screen also if you're bored during the week come on and hang out with me on instagram snapchat facebook all of that all, all, all of that and i will catch y'all on the next one until then remember my sister my brother my cousin my friend kings in order to have healthy hair you got to do healthy things consistently now. Now be food checking out, deuces. Yo, 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 before you go, you gotta watch blooper time, y'all. Hey, what up, King's blooper time? Can you blow, can blow dryers really give you heat damage? Y'all know what it, ah, 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 ah. I don't think, what was that? So, I don't think so because hair doesn't start burning to this over 450 um, Fahrenheit and most blow dryers don't be no 450. It be like 200, 131. But I have to say, it was quite astonishing to see how stretch, stretch, yeah, stretch, stretch. It got it, it got it. it, it look at that, it's still holding true. This side already started puffing up, but this one, ha, huh, this one. You are a soldier. You are a soldier. You're not going to give up. You're not going to stop. You're going to work harder. Hey! Okay, Red! Red, the red side is like, look, I'm going to give you just enough. <laughs> I gave you just, just enough. So you should like it like that. <laughs> if I told you you were if I told you you were If I told you you were beautiful Beautiful If I told you you were beautiful Beautiful If I told you you were beautiful Beautiful If I told you you were If I told you you were If I told you you were beautiful